Good evening. Um, I am here to talk about Organite. Um, this was the most popular uh, request that I got today. So thank you guys for um, you know pushing me to make this video because this is something that I have for some time avoided because I felt as though you know it was a little bit involved and you know. Honestly, I was I was a little busy and lazy at the same time, um, doing other things. So I was like, oh, you know, if they want to know what organized is, I'll look for it. And you know, by posing that question, you guys actually pushed me to actually think and you know go within and be like, you know what, I sell organized, so I really should be talking about it, right? So um, here I am to explain what it is. Organites are. Um, positive energy conductors and they protect us against um, EMF and radiation. Uh, they pull in all negative and positive uh, energies and then they wash them up, scrub them up, and then release them back out into you know the environment as positive energy. Um, they do so using uh, crystals and metal and you know they're formed together in in a resin and when they do that you know they're formed so tightly that they actually um, cultivate this electric reaction which actually makes the crystals work over time because the metals are are so compressed against it so it's really a fascinating thing and if you look it up um, you could just look up orgo and energy or organites and you know see how they work and you'll be fascinated and when I learned how to craft these I was I was actually blown away because I actually saw things change I mean like um, because of the fact that they take you know all the uh, EMF and the um, they take EMF and they take the radiation out of the environment I've placed a, a organite by a plant and actually saw it grow uh, over time, um, you know, obviously I was taking care of it, but you know, like before I did see, I see it bloom, you know, more flowers and it was, it was pretty fascinating. So I definitely recommend looking into Organite energy and how it works. Um, personally, the way I craft my Organite is different from many, um, that I do see. Uh, I, I think I kind of use my artistic ability because of the fact that I'm really creative. I find myself to be a very creative person and um, I I pride myself on that. Um, but I, I do use a lot of color and I use a lot of different, you know, things that I haven't seen many organites. Uh, the organites that I have here, uh, right here that I'm going to share with you are my personal organites that I use that I really love. Um, and two of them, there's three here, two of them I have not been able to recreate, unfortunately, and I'm still working on it. Uh, I will tell you the ones that I can't re <laughs> recreate for anything. Um, but I definitely will um, show you other organizers I have available. If you do want to, um, you know, link up with me and ask me about Organite, feel more than free to ask me. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you do have if I missed any here. Um, but yeah, so here we go right into it, right? So this one is... Um, this one I made for this this solar plexus chakra and the solar plexus chakra is all about your personal power and you really coming into your own power and that to me is really important um, you know I use this on my reading table where I read my cards uh, for clients and you know I found that putting this on my table actually makes me uh, more confident uh, in my delivery uh, as to how I speak to people and I'll explain how um, this this one I made like I said for the solar plexus chakra which is all about your personal power center um, but I also if you take a look it's blue uh, resin that I used here and the blue resin represents to me uh, the throat chakra and that's all about communicating so I wanted to make sure that my confidence personal power center was connected to my throat chakra, which was my communication. Um, and then the, you can't really see it um, in here, maybe if I put it a little closer to the light. 
if you can make that out, that's actually a tiger lily in there. And tiger lilies to me are special because of the fact that they remind me of my grandmother who actually, um, you know, was also a gifted woman. Um, and she really taught me so much and taught me how to stand in my personal power. So I put that in there as homage to her. Um, also, this, this specific organite has sand in it. And sand is all about grounding. Um, you know, really putting an element of earth in there. So, you know, it's me standing my ground and being able to vocalize it. And that's why I put this one on my table. This one is one that I wasn't able to recreate. However, I do think that I can recreate something quite similar. Um, it won't have a tiger lily in it, but it would definitely have something else. The metal in here, um, I have aluminum. Aluminum is all about projecting um, projecting your energy. So I want people to understand what I'm saying um, and projecting my personal power um, so I'm my delivery is able to come off quite clear. Um, so I find that very important. And for um, resonance of the... Uh, <laughs> sorry, I had like a total brain fart. <laughs> Um, for the resonance of the, uh, solar plexus chakra, I have gold flake in here and gold flake is yellow. Um, but it's all about prosperity and it's all about connection to the sun and warmth. So I want people to also feel that they are getting information from me in love and warmth. So that right here, that's how this one works. And this, like I said, this was uh, something that I call a power organite. Um, now this one, I know for a hundred percent sure. I have never been able to recreate this one. Not, not at all. And I have been asked and I've tried, I, I even like went out and bought all the stuff all over again. I, I really couldn't do it. So, um, this one, this one is freaking amazing like I love the hell out of this one and I wouldn't sell it for if somebody came up to me and was like can I have you know I'll, I'll pay for this for you know an outstanding amount I probably would be like nope I'm keeping it <laughs> this one uh it has a zinnia flower in it and if you take a look um the way it looks I'm gonna just turn it it has different layers. It's so beautiful. Like the camera doesn't do this justice at all. And I really feel so connected to this piece. Um, this one I made for the third eye chakra. And um, I can do a whole reading. Uh, if I don't have my cards with me, I tap into my third eye using this as a meditation focal point and I could just go on and on and on and on. You know, this this specific one, um, I really have done amazing readings with this, you know, as a meditation point. And um, the reason why this resonates for me with the third eye chakra is because of the fact that it has the flower in it and if you're familiar with the way chakras look and the third eye and if you understand what the third eye is or you know looked up you know pineal gland the pineal gland looks like a pine cone and this you know it has layers to it and it reminded me of a pine cone um, when I put it in here and the metal that it has in here is gold flake and aluminum and um you know, it really resonates so amazing. And it has a few crystal quartz in here um, that are placed underneath the gold flake. And crystal quartz is all about amplifying. And um, really, you know, again, it's another projection. So, you know, to me, this one is so powerful. And this one was definitely my favorite. Um, <clears throat> also, the I put... You know, I like glitter. I'm a glitter girl. Um, I put, you know, some glitter here. And this is purple glitter 
purple glitter is all for the crown chakra and this is you know like me opening up my third eye but it's also me being able to understand and receive the messages that I get so that's what this one is for and lastly um, the this one right here I get a lot of questions about this one um, because I posted this one a few times and this one is rose quartz I have a huge chunk of rose quartz in here and um, this is all aluminum and this is pretty cool you know I really enjoyed making this one because I thought it came out really pretty it has um, the aluminum in it and like I said it's a projection um, material so the metal here is all about the projection of love because rose quartz is love right and then I have an ohm symbol that's you know the vibration uh, that the universe makes so you know you're projecting your eternal love to the universe so you're being received well you're being sharing of your love and understanding so that's why I did this one and these these three I, I really like them um, I really enjoyed the fact that I have these these guys are always on my table and you know what why well, I have another one um, this one right here this one came out really dope um, I used black sand, black sand for this one. This is abalone shells. Abalone shells are all about the maternal and um, prosperity. And um, in Africa, they, you know, they used to trade shells, you know, as, you know, uh, currency. So uh, there was a um, piece of abalone and that's another thing for me is like Native Americans with abalone they use that for smudging and I'm half Native American so I really connected to this piece as well um, and this has a piece of Lumerian seed quartz that's wrapped in copper um, copper is all about amplifying again so this is like a super super powerful piece and it is like it almost like vibrates in your hand um this one i really this one has like so many connections you know um you know for me so i mean again i probably wouldn't sell this one but i can make one exactly like it and i've recreated this several times so if you're interested in something like this i have this one um and Lastly, this is definitely the last one because I don't want to show you all the stuff I got. <laughs> um, this is just one that I made for fun. Uh, there isn't really any specific reason to this one, but I thought it looked kind of cool. Um, I was playing with purple. And this one could be, you know, for the crown chakra. Um, but again, you know, I didn't think specifically as to what it was for um, but I used some sand and then I used uh, a crystal quartz that I wrapped in um, copper and then I have some abalone shells and then I have some metal that is in here that is aluminum so I, I used a few different types of metal and um, crystals that I, I felt would look pretty I just wanted the you know I wanted something purple so I kinda did this one and that's it you know I I just really connect with making things so I really enjoyed making the organite pieces and you know I just I love sharing the things that I do I you know I feel very proud of them so I just wanted to share them with you and explain to you what they were and you know how they work and if you have any questions feel free to contact me um, I will talk to you soon peace